Hi everybody, happy Valentine's Day and welcome back for another memory keeping plan with me for the week of January 8th through the 14th of 2024. And January 14th was my first wedding anniversary with my husband. So I decided to reuse some of the art that I used last year for our wedding. So if you are new here, I used the I Do Art by Kitnish Jess last year for our wedding. It was the one that I felt oh, best like matched how our wedding was. So last year I used the Cinderella paper version. This year I'm using the Kimmy's Studio version that I picked up during her kind of liquidation sale last year because I knew I wanted to use this art again. I just really love uh, the greens and the kind of woodsy vibes to this art. Really excited to see what Kinnish Jess does with her wedding art for this year. I feel like all of her wedding art like is some of the best in the game. So unfortunately you can't pick up that kit anymore because Kimmy's studio closed her shop. You can pick up most of the foil that I'm gonna use here though because I have gold and silver foil from Alicia Craft and Planahanna. And the only things that you probably won't be able to repurchase as far as foil goes are the foil bundles that I'm using from Scribble Prints Co in both silver and gold but like the musical underlays and the wedding underlays and then the wedding overlays and those pink floral overlays you should be able to to still get in Planahanna's and Alicia Crafts shops. Really love the underlays that I'm using here and the overlays as well. All of the foil is left over from stuff that I used last year during our wedding. So if you are new here and were not around a year ago when I uploaded the wedding plan with me, I did break it up into two separate videos, the base and then the day by day. So if you didn't get a chance to watch those, you can go back a year ago on my channel or more like March 2023 because that's when I finally had the time to plan those weeks and you can hear all about how we got married. There are going to be a few different extenders this week, so there's going to be one on Wednesday. N you know, nothing too crazy happened this week, but I did have a lot of things to mark, so there's going to be an extender on Wednesday as well as extenders on Saturday and Sunday. And inside the extenders on Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to use a couple of full boxes from Apple Blossom Prints Starcrossed kit because there's like a happy anniversary box and a champagne box that I wanted to use for this week and didn't want to necessarily save for when I use that kit for Valentine's Day. So I thought, you know, if I have two extenders and like it's inside the extender, it doesn't matter so much that they don't match the rest of the kit super well. Actually, they match pretty well. Like as you can see right here, like they're still pink. It's just like, it's definitely got like a light wood quality to it. Whereas the wedding art has like more dark wood notes, but I think it looks cute. I think it worked out pretty well, especially for having that scene box open uh, sideways. So this is the second time I am recording this voiceover. So if I sound a little tired, sorry, it is the end of the day. And I was trying to work with my external hard drive to edit this video and it did not work out and iMovie crashed in the middle of my voiceover. So I'm gonna try to recreate how happy I was the first time around but we saw, we shall see how this goes. I like this year that I'm getting to use more of the musical overlays, or not overlays, underlays, because last year how I did this is that I used the vows underlays on the top and bottom box and the musical underlays in the middle, and you really couldn't see the musical underlays because I didn't use that many of them. So I love these musical note underlays from Planahanna. So I'm glad that you can see more of them this time around because I've used more of them, obviously. And then also I did not have as many things to mark this week as I did last year during the wedding week. So you'll just see the underlays a lot better. And I am alternating between silver and gold. You really can't see it with my lights on, but there will be a clip in here eventually where I turn the lights off and just kind of use natural light. And then you can see the foil a lot better. So this week was a little bit odd. Um, if you are not aware, my husband has been up north for a new job while during this week I was still in Southern California, kind of closing out our apartment, closing out my job, all that sort of thing. So he did come down to visit this weekend and we were actually moving on the 15th, so the Monday after this week that you see here. I wanted to make sure that we still obviously celebrated our first wedding anniversary together. Originally, we were supposed to be on a trip, and so that didn't happen because our kitten has been sick, and 
So it's, you know, it was, it was a bit of an odd week. I was really stressed about packing everything up and moving the cats and everything. And then I was getting notified that there was a lot of stuff I needed to do to fill out paperwork and do a bunch of HR stuff for my new job. It's probably the most paperwork and the most like errands I've had to run for a new job in a while, if not ever. And I had to like spend money too, which was kind of unexpected. So I was running around trying to do all of that type of stuff, as well as trying to get the house all packed up as packed as we could. We knew we were going to come back the last weekend of January to finish moving, but like we wanted to get as much stuff out of there as possible, especially because we were taking the cats with us at this point. So I was quite overwhelmed. And then I was still taking care of Clover's medication and all of that. Um, because she was still on her regimen for that. So it was it was quite a week, but we did make time to spend Sunday together. We did a little bit of packing on Sunday, but mostly we focused on like just spending time together in order to celebrate our first anniversary. I'm going to talk a little bit about what went on this week so that I don't have to go into so much detail once we get to the day by day. So like I mentioned on Monday, I was feeling pretty overwhelmed. It was also rather cold this week in Southern California. So that was uh, not the most pleasant just because our old apartment had really bad insulation, if like any insulation at all, (laughs) and didn't have central heating. So I would have to like use a space heater and I could only do that when I was like awake. So I'd wake up in the morning. It would just be super cold in the apartment, which the cats did not appreciate. And Monday, I also, I did like all the laundry. I did like maybe three or four loads of laundry because anytime I move, I run into this issue of, I obviously don't want to move dirty laundry, but like also I have to keep living my life and I'm not going to have time to do laundry like the day I move. So there's always going to be a little bit of stuff that gets moved that's dirty, but I tried to get all the laundry done this week or this day because like I didn't want to move dirty laundry. And also I wanted to close out my, we had an app for our laundry machine and I wanted to make sure I used all the money that was in there. If that makes sense, I was packing clothing and jewelry on Monday specifically. And then I also needed to drop off a few dresses to the dry cleaners that needed to go like months ago after I went to a wedding. But then right after that wedding, my life got so chaotic with Clover being sick that I never got them dry cleaned. So I finally took care of that this week, the week before I moved. I noted that Clover maybe drank like her whole bowl of water this day. I'm not sure if it's just that I forgot to refill her water bowl. She just tried to climb up on the chair behind me and miserably failed. Clover, oh, let go of me. Hold on. Sorry, she like got her claw hooked in the back of my sweatshirt. And so that was a little stressful there for a moment. But yeah, she I, I wasn't sure if she had drank a, more water than normal. I just wanted to make a note of it because sometimes that can get a little weird with cats. I was relaxing watching YouTube in bed on Monday and then I was like in my feelings because this whole week there was not a spot of rain in Southern California like anywhere. This time of last year, especially for our wedding day, it was very rainy, like there was a huge storm. So I was just kind of in my feelings about that because I'm like, why? It's like warm here so many years and of course it was like the one day of the year that I happened to plan something outside that I had to totally change my plans about it. In the scheme of things, like, of course, our marriage is way more important than how the wedding day went, and our marriage is going very well. And, you know, rain's supposed to be good luck and all of those types of things. But I don't know. I still just get a little sad every now and then about, like, how that was, like, our one day to celebrate and, like, we had to change so many things. But it's fine in the scheme of things. And then Clover was a lap cat that evening. I weighed Clover with our human scale the next morning just to kind of check in. I don't think that scale was super accurate though, so I marked in what she weighed, but I don't know. It's important to keep track of how much she weighs with the disease she has because it's like a big marker of whether or not they're doing well or not. The Monday evening before, I had gotten notified that I needed to do a live scan fingerprinting, and so I called my current campuses, now my old campuses, live scan department through the campus police department and they did not pick up the phone and they did not answer my voicemail and so eventually the next day I just had to drive over there and see if they were even there which was really irritating like honestly in hindsight I should have 
talked to the student assistants working at the front desk and been like, I'm sorry, why is nobody picking up the phone? Like, you guys are clearly here. There's like seven of you here and no one's picking up the phone, seriously, and no one's returning voicemails either. I'm getting really annoyed lately with like, (sighs) I had good admin staff in my department, but like a lot of university and college staff like just don't want to do their jobs in my experience. And it's really frustrating as someone who teaches at a university and teaches at a college that like people just don't want to do the bare minimum to like make life easier (laughs) so i was really irritated about that i'm just like you seriously cannot pick up the phone like i called multiple times but i'm really non-confrontational about that type of stuff so i didn't say anything but in hindsight i probably should have because that was stupid i shouldn't have had to drive over there to find out if they were even there that was dumb Uh, I was packing more. I was pretty much packing every single day this week, but on Tuesday I was focusing on stuff like under our bed, which was mostly a lot of like wedding memorabilia. We had stuff still in boxes from our wedding, which was kind of handy for moving because we didn't take it out of the boxes since we got married a year ago. I was filming a plan with me and then I was just really anxious this day because like I said, no one picked up the phone at the live scan office. So I didn't know if I could get this live scan done in time, which was really annoying. And then I finished watching Blockbuster and played with Clover and Evie on Tuesday evening decided to bring me her mouse toy, which is a cute thing that she does to be like, hey, I want to play too. So that was funny to Mark. Wednesday, I had cramps, which was not fun. I was just cuddling with the kitten. And then I did drive over to campus and found out that, yes, they were taking live scan appointments. They just couldn't be bothered to answer the dang phone, which was stupid. I also had some library books to return to my old campus. Last week, I said that that last week, January 2nd, was the last time I went to campus. This was actually the last day that I went to my old campus. I returned my library books because, you know, I was moving. And then I rewarded myself by going to Clyde's, which is a chicken sandwich restaurant. Um, I think just in Southern California. I think they just have a few locations, but it's, it's really good. I don't get the spicy one at all. I just get like the regular one, but like the regular grilled chicken sandwich but it is so good and they have really good waffle fries they also have a drive-thru so that's usually how i get their food i packed up my home office i still had more stuff to pack up in the home office and filmed another plan with me because i was trying to get all these plan with me's done before i moved i wanted to get to the end of 2023 before i moved and i did that And then I was watching Jackson Galaxy's channel this day because he has a calico cat who has been battling cancer. And as someone who has been treating my little calico kitten for not cancer, but another really debilitating disease, um, I kind of connected with that. I was scooping the litter. I did FaceTime my husband this evening just because I was feeling super overwhelmed and annoyed. And then I was watching the Try Guys Without a Recipe. Thursday, I woke up with Evie up against my stomach. She was like curled up against me to stay warm, which was really adorable. And I was just editing a ton of plan with me videos that day. Had to deal with HR at my new job and kind of trying to figure out what the heck I was supposed to do. And then I started packing up the various closets in our apartment. I'm going to switch gears and go into describing what stickers are being used here. So in the sidebar, I marked do it for her, like the Homer Simpson thing, because I was just feeling really overwhelmed. And my husband and I were talking about how like we're doing it for our two cats. So I marked that with a Beneva Creation sticker. And then I just marked that it was cold with a Planet Hannah weather sticker. Monday to mark that I was a little overwhelmed. I have an anxiety Molly from Maddie Betty Sticker Co. And then the Laundry Day script and the icon are both from the kit, from the Kimmy Studio kit. Packing, I use an icon from Scribble Prints Co. And then going to the dry cleaners, I use an icon from the kit. And for Clover, maybe drinking all of her water or maybe maybe just forgetting to refill her water bowl. Oops. Um, I have a Beneva Creations cat for that. And then I'm going to use two icons from the kit to mark watching YouTube in bed that evening and being in my feelings about a rainy day wedding. There's a little umbrella icon in the Kimmy Studio kit, so I thought that was good to describe why I was in my feelings. Our umbrella photos from our wedding did turn out really adorable, I'm not gonna lie. Most of my feelings are just about how like, it felt really chaotic on the wedding day because like, (sighs) sorry if you're from Southern California and watching this, but Southern Californians especially like really freak out about rain and like kind of lose their minds and don't know how to do anything when it's raining and since I'm not from Southern California I get annoyed about that so 
it's not a big deal. It's just like things did feel really chaotic on a special day. And that was, uh, I still have a lot of that stress inside of me associated with some of the memories of the day. Anyway, for Mark and Clover's weigh-in on Tuesday morning, I used a scale sticker from Cinderella Paper and a cat icon from Planet Hannah. And then for calling and failing to get in touch with anybody at the live scan office, I have a phone icon from the kit. And then for packing up the wedding items and the stuff under our bed, I have a package icon from the kit. And then for filming that plan with me, I have a Scribble Prince Co. icon. For marking I was anxious, I have another Anxiety Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. For watching Blockbuster, I have this TV icon from Alicia Craft. And then for marking Clover's Playtime, oh, by the way, I'm using these half cut headers from Scribble Prince Co. in silver and gold. And I found it's easier to put them down if you like put one of them down on the page and then you stick the box to the page of half cut headers, if that makes sense. Hopefully you can see me doing that here in the video. Uh, but for marking Clover Playtime, I have a Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. and then a Playtime script from Alicia Craft. I believe that was from Steph's freebie. And then I have another Itty Bitty Co. Itty Bitty Sticker Co. Molly chasing a mouse for Evie bringing me her mouse toy. At the top of Wednesday, I have a Molly Hates Shark Week uh, sticker from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. and then a Beneva Creations cat and a cuddle script from Alicia Craft for marking Clover Cuddles. Then for my live scan appointment, I used an icon and a script from Scribble Prints Co. Those both came from the foil bundle, the silver and gold foil bundle that I was using. And then for returning my library books, I have an icon that is really old from Oh Hello Co. I don't know that they actually might, that might be one of the few stickers they actually still sell. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think they have a book bundle. They're not really in the sticker game anymore, which is totally fine, but they do have some stickers still for sale on their website. They just sell them a little bit differently than they used to. Then for marking Clyde's, I'm going to put in a hamburger icon from Scribble Prints Co. And for packing up parts of my office or like some of the lingering stuff, I have a package icon also from Scribble Prints Co. And then for filming the plan with me, again, I'm going to have a camera icon from Scribble Prints Co. I try to use a lot of the foil bundle and a lot of the icons from the kit this week just because I already had them out so might as well pull from those and then everything can match just a little bit better. For watching Caroline's Cancer Journal on Jackson Galaxy's channel I'm gonna pull a YouTube icon from Scribble Prince Co. For scooping the cat's litter I'm using a trash can icon also from Scribble Prince Co. and for facetiming my husband I'm gonna pull in a Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. that I really like to use and I think this is the last time I'm gonna use it for a while because I only bought these because my husband and I were facetiming a lot while we were long distance for the last couple months. I don't really facetime people so I have them if I ever need them again, but I don't think I'm going to need them much past this point. And then for watching without a recipe on the Try Guys channel, I just used a television icon from the kit. So back to Thursday, like I said, I woke up with Evie curled up against my stomach, so I'm going to mark that with a Beneva Creations cat. I was editing a bunch of videos trying to get everything set so that there was still videos going up on my channel while I was moving and going to Colorado the next week. So I have an icon from Scribble Prints Co. for that. And then I used a paperclip icon to mark, it's also from Scribble Prints Co., to mark emailing my question to HR that they never, and this is what happened with HR. I emailed HR some information and a question about that information. And I said, if you have any issues with this, call me. And then they didn't respond to my email and they also didn't call me. And so then my like somebody else I was working with was like, why isn't this done yet? And I'm like, well, I emailed them, but like they haven't gotten back to me. And it, this was like on Tuesday of the next week. So I just felt like I was sort of getting in trouble for stuff that wasn't my fault. <laughs> so that was kind of irritating because I had felt like I had done everything I possibly could have done. It was just that people weren't um, doing things quickly enough, I guess. I don't know. It was really confusing and I was caught in the middle of it. Then I was packing up the closet, so I marked that with a Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. I filmed my Christmas plan with me this day, which was the last one I needed to do before I moved, or at least I said I needed to do. So those icons are from Scribble Prints Co. And then I was in my feelings this evening about moving. Um, we had never intended to stay in Southern California forever. My husband is from there. I am not. I'm from Northern California. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And life is really expensive there. And we knew that this move was a good one for my husband's career, probably my career, and for our future. Like, we are way more likely to be able to, like, buy a house here than it was impossible in Southern California, even with making a decent amount of money. So it, it was just complicated. I was in my feelings about it. Um, so I have a Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. and an In My Feelings script from Scribble Prints Co. But there's a lot of things I was going to miss about Southern California. And now that I've moved, I don't really miss those things. I'm going to be honest. But at this day, I was just having a lot of feelings about it. Got Chipotle that night and then watched Without a Recipe, Game Grumps, and Community. So those icons are from Scribble Prince Co. Friday, I edited more videos. That's from Scribble Prince Co. I packed up the bathroom, which is one of my least favorite things to pack because it's like, I need this stuff. And also half of it's open and could explode everywhere. Least pleasant thing to pack. Also one of the last things you have to pack so you're like tired and stuff, you know? Scooped the litter and then I went and picked up the dry cleaning because it was ready. And I was going to move, so I better pick it up. So that bow icon is from Scribble Prince Co. And then this was the end of week 11 of Clover's treatment. So I used a pill icon from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And then I painted my nails this evening. So I, I did my own nails when I got married. I just didn't want to deal with going to the nail salon. So I still have the color because it's only been a year. So it's Essie's Good as Gold. So I don't think it showed up in any Plan With Me videos because I didn't film any before like my nails got really messed up because I painted my nails and then we moved. So it was kind of a mess. And then this evening I put in the Netflix and Chill sticker from the kit because I watched Miss Americana and Community on Netflix. I have mixed feelings about the Taylor Swift documentary Miss Americana. I do feel it's just kind of like a I don't know if I want to call it like a propaganda piece, but it's like, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about Taylor Swift. I, I'm still a fan, especially because like I was a fan a long time ago and I still am always going to love parts of her music, but I'm not beyond criticizing her. Let's be clear. I think, I don't think she's perfect. So I don't hate her. I also don't adore her. So there you go. Because everyone was waiting with bated breath for my opinion on that, right? <laughs> Saturday, I wrote a card to my husband. Uh, I got him a really nice anniversary card. So I have an icon from Cinderella Paper to mark that. I took out the litter and the garbage. And then I put on what I'm calling Winter Cat TV for the cats. So all of these icons are going to be from the kit until we get to the last box of Saturday. Um, my sister and her boyfriend came over to help us take apart furniture and load it up into my dad's van that we were borrowing to move. So um, her boyfriend is apparently a cat guy. I didn't know that until a few months ago. So he got to meet Clover and hang out with her and play with her. So that was really cute. We went and got Gonzo's tacos for lunch. We actually got burritos, but I didn't want to, I don't think I have a burrito sticker at this point. And then I marked that Nathan came home with my dad's van and all of us took apart a bunch of furniture in our apartment and loaded it up into the van so that it was just ready to go. Then my sister and her boyfriend left and my husband and I were packing up the kitchen, which is second most annoying part about moving is packing up the kitchen because again, it's stuff you need and stuff that can like break and explode everywhere, um, but it has to be done eventually. I made myself some Bailey's hot chocolate this evening and then played with the cats. And then this was Clover's 12th dose. Actually, it's going to be her second to last dose of her immunostimulant. So I marked that with a sticker from Eddie Betty Sticker Co. We forgot to give it to her until Sunday morning. Oops, but um, I just marked it on Saturday because I wasn't going to have space on Sunday. Sunday, I marked that it was our first wedding anniversary. Very exciting. So I have a one-year sticker from Jador Planning, and the anniversary script is from Planna Hannah. And then Clover was nine months old this day, so I have a Beneva Creations cat for that. And then Evie was cuddling with us in bed this day, so I wrote in Evie Cuddle Puddle. <laughs> And then we were packing up the cat essentials because we were going to need all of the cat stuff um, for the next day with moving. Sorry, Clover just fell off my lap because she was like balancing on my thigh. It did not work out well. So we couldn't pack like most of the cat stuff until like the day before, right? Because we needed it for the cats, but we were going to need it for the drive the next day. And then this is where we started to focus on celebrating our anniversary. So we went to Drip Coffee. 
marked that with an icon from the kit and we got lunch at a place called Green Bliss. So I marked that with a fork and knife from Scribble Prince Co. They had really good paninis. They also had a surprisingly really good kale salad. Like kale is not something to get too excited about, right? But their kale salad is really good. They make a really nice dressing for it. I had a headache, unfortunately. So I marked that with an itty bitty sticker co headache molly and then with a piece of deco from the kit like the shoes from the kit i marked that we dressed up which was fun i wore the dress that i wore to our rehearsal dinner last year and we went to dinner so we went to a place called the cellar in downtown fullerton which is an old historic building it's in the basement so it's really cool down there and we got the chateaubriand for two so a very nice steak dinner which is not something we normally spend money on so we did that. I marked that with a Scribble Prince Co. icon. And then we came home and needed to do some packing before the next day. So I put on our playlist that we made for our wedding reception. Um, it didn't exactly get played at our wedding, but it was what we gave the DJ to select from. So we were listening to that. We opened a bottle of champagne that we got from our wedding venue. Our banquet captain gave it to us at the end of our wedding. So it was from Mom Napa, which is like nicer champagne than we normally buy. So I was like, we're holding on to this until our first anniversary. So we popped that open. I used a piece of deco from the kit to mark that. And then we were putting away all the Christmas decorations. And I think my husband was mostly like packing more of the kitchen. But I was focusing on putting away the Christmas decorations because obviously they needed to get packed. And I left them up for as long as possible just because... We were in the middle of moving and I wanted something cute in the house. A lot of times I leave my Christmas decorations up until like the end of January, but this time that could not happen. So that is how the week turned out. The two habit trackers in the sidebar are for Clover's medication and for Evie's probiotics. And then as always, I've got my dinners sidebar going on there. So this is how the week turned out. I think it looks really nice. I mean, I'm happy with it. I It's kind of weird to think like I almost like it a little bit more than the wedding week turned out just because there were fewer things to mark. But yeah, that is how we spent our first wedding anniversary. Stay tuned for next time when we talk about what happened the very next day, which was that we moved our cats from Southern California to Northern California. So again, happy, I was going to say happy Valentine's Day, but yes, happy Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day, happy Palentine's Day for your pets. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.